Astronomers are exploring a way to observe what could be the second closest supermassive black hole to Earth. LEO-1 is a dwarf galaxy in the constellation LEO. It's more or less a moon of the Milky Way. Like every other major galaxy, scientists suggest LEO-1 hosts a supermassive black hole at its center named LEO-1 star. This suggestion comes after scientists notice that the stars of this galaxy get significantly faster the closer to the center they are. The idea is that a central black hole three million times more massive than the Sun could cause this acceleration. An independent team of astronomers first proposed its existence in late 2021. But finding black holes is one of the toughest missions for astronomers. That's obviously because light can't escape their event horizons. Usually, we only find black holes that feed on the matter around them. This process brightens the environment around black holes, known as the accretion disk. But this isn't the case with LEO-1, because about a billion years ago, star formation in the dwarf galaxy almost stopped. That was a time when the galaxy lost almost all of its gas and dust. The galaxy is so devoid of gas that scientists sometimes refer to it as a fossil galaxy. So, the massive hole doesn't have enough matter around to dine upon, hence no light nearby for us to observe. However, now astrophysicist Fabio Pacucci and Avi Loeb from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics have suggested a way to observe this supermassive black hole. Their study suggests a small amount of mass lost from stars moving around the black hole could provide the accretion rate needed to observe it. Old stars get bigger and become red when they near the end of their lives, entering a phase known as the Red Giant. Stars in this phase tend to eject strong winds and lose a lot of mass, so scientists suggest that the space around LEO-1 star contains enough of these ancient stars to make it observable. Such an observation could be groundbreaking, and it would mark our second closest supermassive black hole after Sagittarius A star at the center of our galaxy. If LEO-1 star exists, it probably has a very similar mass to Sagittarius A star, but is hosted by a galaxy that is a thousand times less massive than the Milky Way. This study could help us better understand how galaxies and their black holes co-evolve. The team is currently planning on generating images of the black hole. They've obtained telescope time on the space-borne Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Very Large Array Radio Telescope in New Mexico and are currently analyzing the new data. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.